Hey, we welcome you back to America's Forum. And while Fluker in Ohio may not have been, may not have minded that odd display, there is one Florida woman who was not so understanding. According to the Tallahassee Democrat, police have arrested a woman accused of destroying a Satanic Temple's holiday display at the Capitol in Tallahassee, Florida. Let's bring in our panel once again. Rejoining us is Ellis Hennigan and Javier Manjarez, managing editor of the Shark Tank. Thank you both for being with us. Javier, this is Florida. This is our home state. Now, we, we kind of, we can appreciate what this woman was doing because right. I think on its face, the fact that there's a satanic holiday display at the Tallahassee right. Capitol is just, I don't know. It's so Florida. Uh, but what do you think about her tactics? She was in, I guess, some ways, infringing on the satanic association's free speech. Do you agree? Well, again, no one agrees on uh, breaking any, any, any law, but again, she made a mistake. She tore it down. But look, I mean, she was that passionate about like a lot of Americans are. Look, this display was, was banned last year by the state because of court pressure put on by the Satanic Temple. They put it on this year. So again, you know what? It's their right to do. It's their First Amendment right. Uh, you know, so be it. I'm not, I'm not offended. I'm offended somewhat by it, but again, whatever, to each his own. Uh, Ellis, zombie nativity displays, <laughs> satanic holiday displays. I mean, where does it stop? <laughs> well, I, I certainly bat uh, Javier and you, John, when it comes to Florida issues. I mean, <laughs> you guys live and breathe and everything. We just laugh at it from afar. Um, gosh, it's America. That guy you interviewed from Ohio, I think, had it about right. We can hate this stuff. We don't have to embrace it, right. but... Uh, you know, the world is better when people have a right to do it, and we all, we all kind of understand that, I guess. Do you guys think that there's been any change? I don't, it doesn't seem to me like this year it was talked about quite as much, the culture war, the war on Christmas. No, because the, 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 the racial war has been, been the, the talk of the town the whole year. I mean, this is, every year, look, like we talk about this, this issue here in Florida, but you're right, nothing has been said about the, the war on Christmas. I haven't heard one peep out of it. I mean, I, really, I haven't. And what about you, Ellis? Well, it was, it was, I mean, it was a phony war. And there was no war on Christmas, right? And if there were, Christmas, uh, I don't know if you've noticed the last few days, but a lot, a lot of people are celebrating Christmas this week. Uh, I'd, say, I'd say Christmas is doing pretty well. I don't think we have to worry about its future. Well, let me add, I think this lady in Tallahassee brought her upon herself to, to, to start this war against, against Satanism and against Christmas won or Jesus prevailed. Well, we'll see. She does face criminal charges. And it's important to note that in her mugshot, this woman who was arrested, she was wearing a sweatshirt that I believe read Catholic Warrior on there. So clearly there was wow. a, a religious statement involved here. Now, if she was making her statement based on religious grounds, we'll have to see. I mean, this is going to be a very interesting. You see the picture right there. Um, maybe her first arrest, I'm willing to guess, uh, right there. But she was clearly trying to make a statement. And maybe she was planning to get arrested by wearing this T-shirt. What do you think, Ellis? I think that civil disobedience has a long tradition in our country, and part of the deal is that when you break the law, you're likely to get arrested. So, uh, you know what? I think everyone got what they wanted here. And, and, and Javier, what yeah. do you think an appropriate, appropriate uh, penalty should be for this woman? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the judge orders her to put up the display in her front yard. I don't know. Well, the, you know, maybe, maybe, she, maybe she should volunteer work. Maybe she should do like a volunteer work at the Wick with the Wiccans or something. Yeah, maybe the Wiccans are, are hosting a, uh, some sort of uh, community service. solstice uh, feeding of, I don't know. I don't know. Community <laughs> service. We'll see. Uh, well, gentlemen, uh, it's been great having you here. Interesting topic of discussion. I want to wish you both a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. Same to you. And uh, Ellis, yeah, next time all, I see you. To all those other holidays, too. Yeah. Ellis, first Hennigan is on me when I see you in New York next month. First, Hennigan is on we'll Javier. Very it. clever. Very clever, Javier. <laughs> Come on up, man. See you guys. All right. Now, Ellis wants to make fun of Florida, but we do like to watch winter on TV from down here in Florida, so stay warm up there, Ellis. Anyway, much more to come here on America's Forum. We're going to continue. I'm going to give you a dose of reality when we come right back. One of the best television shows ever on TV ever is coming back, this time in HD. We'll tell you why you should watch it.